Hi and welcome. It's me, Nicole. And me, Tessa. And Liana is here. As our 13th ghost. Because we are doing 13. Wait, wait, nope. Thir- Thir- 13 what? and ghosts from okay. 2001. <laughs> okay. All right. Yeah. That is how it's spelled. That is how it Thir- is spelled. 13 and ghosts. Mm-hmm. And of, so, that was yeah. a choice. Yet another Matthew Lillard. Joint, yep. you said? Joint, yeah, yeah, a Matthew Lillard joint. We just did SO Sleep Punk. If you missed that one, mm-hmm. go back two episodes. <laughs> two episodes. It was really that. quick. This is our third At Matthew least. Lillard. I feel like fourth. Hackers. Oh, shit. Hackers, yep. Scream, SLC Punk, and now 13 Ghosts. Okay. All right. Yep. We haven't done and probably will never do Scooby Doo. <laughs> Are you sure? That's when we're wrapping it up. That's when we're wrapping it up. If that we, when we get to live action Scooby Doo, right? It up. Somebody nudge us. <laughs> <laughs> like, oh, okay. They're tired of this now. Somebody nudge us. <laughs> and I loved the cartoon Scooby Doo. Don't mm, get me wrong. Mm-hmm. Classic. The live action one wasn't. Bad. It wasn't bad, but I think I was too old by the time it well, came yeah, out. Well, yeah, but you know which one we should do? Hmm. Josie and the Pussycats. Oh hell yeah, <laughs> hell yeah. <laughs> Josie and the pussy cat. cat. Uh, 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 uh. Hell yeah. So the cast. Yes. Matthew Lillard is Dennis Rafkin. And F. Murray <laughs> Abraham. A Cyrus Criticos. Yes. And um, they were what in the original? In the 1960s? Because the there was only one Greek name that you could have. And, Wait, and that, that's Zorba. only how you knew you were Greek was right. the name Zorba. Exactly. And you could make a good cheeseburger. <laughs> God the, damn the lucky Greek and the mad Greek make some bomb food. And Zorbas. And Zorbas. Yeah. <laughs> if it's a Greek or it's got a Greek name, mm-hmm. it's you probably going to be delicious. Just pull on through. They make their own ranch. It's delicious. Oh, the ranch. Oh, I know. <laughs> Tony Shalhoub. <laughs> Tony Shalhoub. Arthur Criticos. I feel like this is another. Didn't we have Tony Shalhoub in something? I know we had Did F. We? Murray Abraham. Oh, I don't know. Oh, fuck. I'm blanking. I feel like he was in something because I feel like this isn't the first time we've mentioned Tony Shalhoub. Maybe we talked about Wings. (laughs) (laughs) That tracks. That was my first introduction (laughs) to Tony Shalhoub. That tracks. Uh, Shannon Elizabeth. Mm -hmm, As Kathy. I know what a name. Kathy. Kathy Criticos. That's not a Greek name. That's not a young person's name. Why would you name your daughter? Oh, sorry. All the Kathys out there. Sorry. I do apologize. (laughs) Well, she is the oldest teenager, no, teenager. since Andrea. Because mm-hmm. mm-hmm. she was, what you said, 29 playing a teenager? 28. Oh, 28? 28. And she was supposed to be maybe 18? I, she was only a year younger than Rodiga, who plays Maggie. Oh, wow. Who in, was her nanny? Yeah, she's the nanny. She was like the gal that came in after mom passed away. Alec Roberts as Bobby, the annoying little oh, brother. Oh, fuck, Criticos. dude. Just get ready, because we're going to trash this fucking kid. M. Beth Davids as K- Kalina. Oh, this bitch. Oretzia. Her, too. <laughs> and I think that's all I have. I, I didn't uh, write the ghost. Did you write the ghost? J.R. Bourne as Benjamin Moss. Uh, you know what? Oh, yeah, I, yeah. I did... But it's nobody that you would necessarily recognize as 12 more names. They're you ghosts. They're real. They're ghosts. ghosts. They're actual They're ghosts. ghosts. They really cast ghosts in this film. That's they why did. it's so freaky. They did. Actually, the mother, the one that plays uh, the mom in this, her real name's Catherine. Kathy. That's ah, funny. Oh, okay. It's Kathy. And we get right into the action. Oh, yeah. We open up in this junkyard. Spooky as fuck. Mm-hmm. There's like... Police Caution tape, tape flailing in the oh, breeze. Oh man, it's all like spooky out there. Everything's kind of damp. And then the semi just comes crashing through yeah. the gate. Sparks so, flying, whoosh, 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 busting through with a, a set of SUVs behind yeah. it. Yeah, yeah. This is an operation. They all got like a they get out military style. Yeah, it's got that symbol on the, on the side. side of the yeah, car. Uh, yeah. They all get out 
like the SWAT team yeah. and they go run Setting around up their effect. loudspeakers and their reel to reel. And it's like it's not even weapons. There's no. nothing to hurt these ghosts. No. There's no way to defend yourself. They're just no. trying to trap as them. As we'll find out. It's the yeah, ghost yeah. Version of the ghost yes. version of Twister. Yes. They're building right? that. They're what building was the, with the they Dorothy. Dorothy. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. So yeah, this is their Dorothy they're setting up. <laughs> And this antique Rolls Royce pulls up. This is what you oh. drove to ghost hunt Uncle yes. Cyrus, bitch. Did you see his look? That's true. This all, yes. Yes. That's true. Uncle Cyrus showed up in this. That's Salieri. I know. Finest. That's what I'm saying. He's being all Salieri about it. He's like, F. Murray Abraham. Click, clack. Uh. You don't go with a name like that unless you're fancy. Velvet. You the finery. Mahogany. <laughs> leather. Wait till you see his house. Oh, my gosh. The finery. <laughs> and he's got little Dennis, little Matthew Lillard with him. Mm-hmm. And he got a bad headache. Oh, yeah. He's like sick or something. He's like, all, huh, huh, he's all sweating. And like, we need to get the hell out of here. So you realize something real quick up. has to do with he sees ghosts. Yeah, like, like he's, he's some paranormal shit. Like it hurts him. Yes, it do. He's got a bottle of pills. And not only will Cyrus not let him take the pills, he, he knocks like, the whole all this bottle shit. out like, of his fucking hand. Do you know how hand. long it's going to take me to get another refill Are of those these opiates? pills? Oh, fucking forget the about doctor it. doctor ain't refilling this shit. Nope. That's drug-seeking behavior. Oh, well, in 2001, they might Well, have. maybe not. Well, that know. was before the epidemic. Like the, the epidemic. Mm-hmm. Well, maybe. Maybe. I don't know what those were, but he does need it to, like, just take the edge off. And he's like, no, I need you clear-headed. You know the deal. Right. And he was like, well, uh, he touches the ground. To find where's this ghost they're Right. And he's for. like, no, you said he only killed, like, nine people. There's, like, 40 bodies in like, here. Oh, he only killed that many in life. Oh, but he kept going after he died. So Dennis points out where the ghost is, and he's like, bring the cube. Bring in the cube. <laughs> the cube. And the cube drops in front of them. Mm-hmm. And then all of a sudden a car drops. Right. From the fucking, he's, the dude's coming. Right. He's like on his way. And then like a couple of other people show up trying to stop them Mm -hmm. from doing what they're doing. They're like ghost activists. Yeah. So this is Kalina and I think his name's like David or something. I don't know what his fucking name is. Yeah. Oh, Damon. Damon. Damon, Because she talks about him later. So yeah, they show up and they're protesting that this is slavery, that he's playing right. God. These are people. You can't just trap people. You can't these just people. trap people like this. And she's got a little book and like, no, you can't do it. And is it her that mentions the 13th ghost? And Dennis is like, uh, right. He was like, 13? what are you talking about? 13? What? Like, this is the 12th one. I'm done after this. Like, I'm not doing any more of this shit. I quit. 12 and one more. Oh, because I do that kind of stuff because I'm a dick. I'm rich. Bitch. I'm rich. <laughs> And so he's like, Cyrus says, release the bait. And Dennis mm. is like, bait? We never needed bait. What are you talking about? And and oh, my truck, God. This water <laughs> truck full of blood. Yes. Where'd they get this blood from? I'm going to guess it's cow blood, but who knows? It's Cyrus. You know how Cyrus is. He just killed like a whole orphanage <laughs> and filled the fucking semi oh, truck orphan full of blood. blood. Like, yes. You know the juggernaut would love that shit. <laughs> he would, oh yeah. The ghost of Ted Danson. Like, yes, <laughs> and that's what you see. So when right. they, so they call him to spell, they start up their mm-hmm. spell shit. Right. They're start real to real. Shit. Yeah. Which, like, it's 2001. I know. You got the spells on real to real? We didn't have an MP3? I At least a CD? Right. Come on now, like you're that could get easily messed up. That's tape. I yeah. The ghost is just like right. Like what, if up. I was a ghost, that's what I would do. If that's what you're trying like. Right whoosh, whoosh. So yeah, so they they hose down this whole right, junkyard. Right, right. They start the spell and cars start falling over. He's People like, start getting thrown you around. Gotta be shitting, shitting me. me. Yeah, a truck full of blood. Yeah, like, what the like fuck? come on. And then the ghost of Ted Danson appears. <laughs> they put their little ghost viewers on. Yes. And like they do this little spell to catch him. And like the tor- the guys are like being all torn up. The SWAT Oh, guy. yeah. That like, one guy gets folded, gets folded in half. Truck. Yes. Oh, brutal. Like, by his dick. He gets pulled into the trunk by his Basically. dick. Basically. And it folds him in half backwards. <laughs> and then that one's running from him and he runs right oh, into the containment cube. Come on, dude. You got to look where you're going. And the door shuts with him inside and he, he is gets just. Demolished. And Dennis they, like, out there banging on it. Out? Do they have to hose that shit out though? Like, because when he puts it in the house, oh, it's not. Yeah, it's, it's like clean. A body in it, and now there's a ghost in there. So I how know. Did how did he like squeegee that cube? shit out? I bet there's a transference. Like that containment cube is probably not the one he's in. They probably like connect it to the outside of the oh, house maybe. and like open it and 
They oh, can like get Jurassic into the other, Park. Yeah. Okay. And All shoe right. them in and then I shut it that. and then go dispose <laughs> they, like, of the body. They got the little prods. Like, <laughs> and then they get the power washer yeah. out and hose it all <laughs> down. the little velociraptor <laughs> noises uh-huh. and runs right through. Yeah. Okay. All right. And and then you hear Kalina screaming that her friend is dying. Right. And but Cyrus, Cyrus is, is like dead Also as fuck. dead. He's got a little... <laughs> and now, so spoiler alert. Yeah. Because I want to know how, when... How, what, who, when, how, I know. where, why set up this set whole this up? special effects display in he the midst of a real just... ghost killing people. Well, because what's her tits knows about it. Right. So she helped him clearly. And what? Okay. Well, we'll talk about that later when we get there. But like, yeah. When did he set all this shit up? I guess this confusion? all happened within 30 seconds that he killed all these people and got into the cube. Like well, because I guess you would be watching what the what Ted Danson do. Right, right. Because like, it's no like one was cheers. looking at You're him. like, what? <laughs> he was like, cheers. Ted Danson, Holy relax. Shit. That hair piece. <laughs> <laughs> and so, yeah, so they find, so Dennis finds out, finds him bleeding out. Right. He's got like a big old card blade thing, thing yeah, cut. Yeah, piece I don't know. In his neck. Sheet I don't metal. Know. And then total tone shift right now it's like the opening credits and a flashback of a happy family oh yes memories of happier times Mm -hmm. the criticos family on arthur's birthday right all having i love you i love you oh they're having all you know oh no shit's on fire oh fuck yes and you just hear their life Mm -hmm. which is kind of a cool they don't do that in a ton of movies or at least not at the point when i had seen this one i didn't yeah, yeah, where yeah. you just get the setup in audio only over your opening credits. I and mean, that was kind of cool, I it guess. Was like cool. it kind of wrapped it up like You got that to know whole... where they were at without having to watch all of this exactly. or have someone tell See, it. Exactly. You know what? That's what I appreciate mm-hmm. about Crazy. these movies because I feel like sometimes they try to build these things up like we they want like this fully formed character right of like who it is so that I care. When they get impaled. But all you needed was yeah. to see Tony Shalhoub go from happy to sad. Right. Yeah. From this nice house to shitty apartment. This is it. In just a pan right, shot right, right. around the room. Yep. And hear that mm-hmm. it was a fire. That's all I Mom fucking didn't needed. make it. There was a funeral. I'm in. We know where we're at now. We had that big action scene in the beginning. Mm-hmm. Here's what's going on while that's and going on. And now this on. is the guy who did Ghost Ship, right? And yes, did that not have like the best two. opening scene ever yes. and then the movie sucks? It is. <laughs> the movie is not great. So at the least this didn't scene, do what Ghost Ship did. No, You've but got he the good only did. This scene, was his debut. Okay. And then he did this and Ghost Ship and that was it. <laughs> How funny. <laughs> and that was the following year. But yes, no, one of the best openings. That but then the movie's so like... Bah, bah. Yeah, it's like... Meh, 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 yeah. meh, meh, meh. This one does not do that. There mm-hmm. might be some moments where you're going to go, mm, all right, no, but that could have been like better, but it's not like ghost Kind of fun from like it's start fun. to finish. Totally. I love this movie. To- oh, yeah. I'll watch this anytime Any it's on. Any fucking time. And so, yeah, so you hear all this happening, and then you see him. They're now in this shitty apartment. Right. And he's going to be late for work. Bobby has this new hobby. Oh, yes. Of reading got- the obituaries, <laughs> the, yeah, I guess, or, or just or like- articles about death. Right, and this fucking kid. And podcasting them. Right? (laughs) He's recording them. He's He's the first true crime podcaster in 2001. He is. (laughs) Even though I hate him. I, I probably would have listened to his show with his little fucking I didn't binky hate him mouth. until they got to the new house. In these scenes, he was all right. He was kind of annoying when he called his sister a slut. Which, okay, yeah. She's like telling him to knock it off, and he calls her a slut. Stop yeah. being a, you're being a real slut about it. With his it. little binky baby mouth. Yeah. Yes. And He's then Maggie's got, like, like she's like, I prefer the term bitch. <laughs> Like Maggie, this is the nanny you hired, right? Things are clearly out of your control. Arthur. I mean, she seems like she's cool. She seems but like, cool, but like that kid's a little young for you to be teaching him. She's like decapitation. Bitch. Yeah, Matt, how to spell decapitation? <laughs> so anyway, down the hall comes this shady character, this guy with a briefcase, this lawyer, to tell them about their uncle Cyrus, and his name is Ben Moss. Which in the original it was Benjamin Rush, which wasn't Benjamin Rush, the um. House on Haunted Hill wasn't that Benjamin Rush? Who? Which one? The main guy, Rush, was the in dude House in on House on Haunted, Haunted Hill. Hill. Oh, 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 oh! No, it was, it was Vincent. Uh, oh, who was somebody? Was Rush though? What movie am I thinking of? Where his I don't know. Same actor. Fuck! Look up Benjamin Rush. Who else is that? <laughs> Benjamin, but yeah, Benjamin Rush was the name of the in lawyer the in the first one. ones, and this is, and this Benjamin, is Benjamin Moss. Moss. Yeah. Okay, so he shows up to tell them about Uncle Cyrus died. Yes, and, and you this inherited house is this yours, and he's kind of weird, and this house is kind of wild. 
What? What did you find? In one of the what? founding fathers. Is that what I'm Russia? thinking of? <laughs> That's who Benjamin Are you remembering an elementary school <laughs> history lesson? <laughs> history lesson right now? Are you having a flashback? Apparently. Is it from that acid? Oh, shit. <laughs> so, yeah. So, he tells them about what they've inherited and that, and he explains to his kids, like, oh, dad said Uncle Cyrus squandered the family fortune. I <laughs> don't really know him. Right. He was like, I. You know, he's not somebody that I was ever really aware of. Like, I didn't even know he was here the whole time. And he turns on this laptop video <laughs> of Cyrus. He's, he's so intense. Oh, I'm, I never had a family. And yes. I'm going to apologize by making you my sole beneficiary. If you're seeing this, it means I'm dead. <laughs> and Ben hands them this fancy ass right? key. I'd be like, um. Is this for, what is this What's for? this for? To your new house. Yeah. The fruit of my life's work, a one of a kind home. Right. So, yeah, he's trying to make up for not having a family by giving them this house. Right. Perhaps and it's all we'll the way out in, in another life, he says. At the right. End of the Maybe video. we'll meet again. In another, mm -hmm. So it's all the way out in Willow Grove, wherever that is. It's in the middle of nowhere. No uh, neighbors for miles. Right. Um, and they head over to check it out. And oh. you see, while they're heading over, K Kalina, I keep she's wanting to like call her like there Katina prepping or something. All her shit to yeah, she's getting prepped. She's got her dynamite. <laughs> right, yeah, she's packing her little to-go bag. And the lawyer and the family arrive at the house, and you—it's when it's dark, you can't tell exactly yet that it's glass. It just right. looks. It does. It just looks interesting. Like kind of dark, and there's already Matthew Lillard's already there mm -hmm. in a work truck, in a work uniform with his flashlight, talking about. I work for the power company. It's like knocked out power to a bunch of houses. I need to get down there and look at your breaker. And the dude, the lawyer tries to push him off, but he's like, look, I got 5,000 houses right, that like don't have power right now. You're yeah. going to let me in. And Arthur's like, yeah, it's fine. Sure. Because like, he doesn't, he don't know nothing's up. Yeah. He's like, nobody told him nothing, which the difference between this one and the original is the right. lawyer tells him right when they mm -hmm. sign the shit. Wait, 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 wait. Mm -hmm. Before you sign this and before you decide to move in, by right. the way, your There's, uncle collects ghosts. He collected and ghosts. House the ghosts come with the, go with, the, with the ghosts. The ghosts come with the ghosts. The ghosts come with the ghosts. Obviously. You get extra ghosts with your ghosts. Mm -hmm. I, yo, dog. I heard you like ghosts. <laughs> I got some ghosts with your ghosts. <laughs> Put some ghosts on your ghosts. But yeah, so... He's like, yeah, no, it's fine. Like, it's my house. Come on in. So Arthur puts the key in the lock and it sucks into the door, which... Yeah, how do like, you get your key back? Damn. What happens now? How you get your key back and get back in your house the next time? You never leave. Maybe well, it spits out the other side, but he it doesn't show He never intended that. them to leave, I guess. True. Maybe he didn't really live in that house. Maybe the whole thing is a trap. Oh. Think never about that. thought about that. Think about that. Well, now, <laughs> now I'm going to have to. I know. So this crazy gear mechanism starts up and all the power right. comes on and you go, oh, shit, it's a glass house. It starts like a pendulum. Oh, mm -hmm. yeah. Remember that movie, too? Glass House? Oh, I don't know if I saw With that. With Lily Sobieski. Remember what oh. happened to her? Whatever happened to her? Wow. What did happen to Lily Sobieski? I don't know, but it was like her and Stellan Skarsgård and Diane Lane. Oh, I'm not sure if I saw That's that. That's a good one. Was it an actual glass house? Literally? Yes. They lived in a glass house. They oh. had to like move into this house. Their parents died. And they like get adopted by their parents' friends, and it's like shifty. Okay, that kind of does sound familiar. I bet you it was that's around one of those ones time. where if I turn it on, I'll be like, yeah, but, I yeah, saw this. yeah, yeah. I, I forgot it was about it. Good but, I saw it. but anyhow, they notice it's like a glass fucking house. It's all amazing. And it I love it when pendulum. Dennis is like, "What? You guys couldn't afford any walls?" Yeah, he's like, <laughs> <laughs> which like clearly this was much more expensive than regular. Oh, walls. I, yeah, it's like all etched glass. Yes, like, and museum. So they get inside. There's like museum quality displays right. all over this house. Yes. And it's written Latin is what's all over the walls. Yes, that's what Arthur notices that everything is in Latin and whatever. And like right off the bat, Maggie's like, <clears throat> I don't do windows. Uh -uh. Maggie does not do windows. Okay. <laughs> no, um, the lawyer needs him to sign paperwork. He tells the kids and Maggie, you guys stay right here. Don't go running around. We don't own nothing. Right. First rule, no throwing stones. Yes, that too. Because it's a glass house, get it? So Dennis, you can tell, is already getting nervous. And he's like, mm -hmm. can you just tell me where the basement is so I can get my ass out of here? Right, I just need to go down there and look. And he's looking for money? Yes, because Cyrus owed him money. Well, like but why did he think it was physically hidden in the house? I don't know. These it people are the his beneficiaries. One. Yeah, because in the original one, the money was hidden in the house. Right. But there's no reason in this version to think there's money hidden no, in this house. No, no. Like he could have taken any number of those shits. 
that he saw like just on his way out. He took any number of shits he in that glass bathroom. He could have taken any number of shits and you would have seen <laughs> it. You would have. The pipes, everything. You everything that glass. Turd traveled right? through the fucking pipes of oh. the house. Could you imagine? Now that, it, it would be like when you would have like those old banks with those vacuum tubes. Yes! <laughs> you just see the turd going down the thing. So... <laughs> So Dennis finds the basement. Right. He goes and down yeah, there. Looking for the money. And uh-huh. he starts getting the shooting pains. Right. He's getting headaches again. And he's like looking around like, oh, what the fuck? Oh, shit. He's starting what to kind of realize what's happening. Not fully what's happening, but he but realizes like these are ghosts down something, here. Yeah. He's starting to see that something's going on here. And Arthur uh, tells Ben, he's like, I didn't want to mention anything in front of the kids but like i can't afford right whatever the taxes are on this place i can't afford it the property taxes like this isn't something that we can do and i didn't want to say anything in front of the kids he's like no no no, no your you uncle was have a to genius worry about... with finances yeah you could never ever have to worry about money again which was not the case in the william castle no. version they had to live in that house yes. ghosts and all mm-hmm. or they got well they got nothing anyway there was no money supposedly. no it was just it was the just house. the house which they were like destitute like they had mm-hmm. just gotten their furniture removed by the moving right? men. And if they moved, the house went to the state. They right. couldn't sell it. They had to live there. Mm-hmm. There was no getting out of no. this. No, they had to live there. So, yeah. So this one, he he never has to worry about money again. Everything's cool. Because you're only going to live for one day. Right. So now, Dennis, right? This is only supposed to be one day. Right? Oh, yeah, yeah. It's, it's only a couple hours like or something. Mm-hmm. This is supposed It might to be out- real time. I mean, well, no, like maybe. not from the beginning, but from well, the time they're true. in that house, I it think it might be. be supposed to be real time. It's it could like an be hour because it's only supposed to take place in that whole day. Yeah. Is this whole movie. So anyway, Dennis puts on them glasses. He finds the specs, which in the mm-hmm. original, those glasses. Oh I my know. God. But they still had those lights. They had the lights. So it the kind lights of were part it. of it. Yeah. We saw those. The glasses, the those, original so those, glasses. Yeah. And they had the, well, the ones that they gave you in the movie theater. Right. They look like. We're like 3D, 3D glasses, glasses, but it right. was there was apparently because William Castle was known mm-hmm. for these like the gags, the gags, right, right, right. And so it was a red side and a blue side, and one was for when you wanted to see the ghost, right. and one was a ghost remover. So I'm yes. presuming there was some sort like of 3D thing, effect where thing, yeah, yeah, one I'm side sure made them yeah, appear. He would do that stuff all the time. He'd have like a fright pause, like we're gonna do 15 seconds. Mm-hmm. If you want to go further. Then just wait. If you want to leave, leave now. And I think he did like all the like sign a waiver. Oh, geez. In case you die. This is why John whatever. Waters loved him so much. That's where we I, just saw these saw glasses. It, yeah. was well, in the I John love Waters these exhibit. movies. They're so they're such so good goofy. movies. They're I mean they're silly, mm-hmm. but they're a lot of fun. They are fun. So he puts on the specs, and we see immediately there's like a ghost behind him in one of these mm-hmm. cubes. And it's it bangs like, the bat. This is the torn prints, right? right? The yes, and the he looks like a fifties greaser, greaser with a bat. I think it was um, the little story behind that guy was like he's a greaser guy that went, you know, did the James Dean thing in the uh, car and okay. wrecked it and whatever. Okay, and so he sees that guy. He bangs mm-hmm. the bat against the glass, makes it spark, scares the shit out mm-hmm. of him, and so he immediately goes back up and he tells Arthur, like, "Look, I'm not who well, I said I was." Well, he also sees the. Um, What's her name? The the mom and the baby. Oh, the oh. great child and the dire mother. And then yeah, so then you st- he starts like, oh fuck. So Kathy yeah. and Maggie and Bobby are up. To- yeah, they've run off. He They're- told them stay fucking put. So they do not go anywhere. Up. And they immediately Maggie is supposed to be an a responsible right? adult, and she is not. No, oh. she's she, you might as well have hired another oh. teenager to right? watch your children. For and sure. so, yeah, so Dennis goes up and admits, look, I'm not the fucking power guy. Right. And you, this is what's going on here. Like, I need you to get you and your kids out of here. Because I used to hunt displaced spiritual energies with your uncle. And Arthur's like, what? He's like, ghosts, Revenants, ghosts, ghosts, ghosts. Yeah, no, ghosts. And like, we, these are all the words you would use, Dennis, to explain just say to a layman. Ghosts. Just say ghosts. If you're going to get there anyway. I know you're doing that manic Matthew Lillard right? thing, which I love more than just about anything. And in the like, world. does he spit all over himself in every single movie? I'm sure he fucking does. Because I've been he noticing, drools, he yeah, spits. Yeah. It's that tongue. Oh yeah, he got that. You know tongue. what? That's another book in my religion. Just so you guys know, I've got this religion. The tongue I'm trying of to Matthew Lillard. It's kind of like a cult. And oh, the Cool Ranch Club. Yes, yeah, the Cool Ranch. <laughs> when you come down to the Cool Ranch, we're gonna read these things, and Matthew Lillard's tongue has a part of that. I don't know how yet. I'm gonna figure it out. Okay, we'll get there. 
We'll get that. Leon is here for this. <laughs> so um, he's trying to explain all this to him. I used to hunt, hunt ghosts with your uncle. Goats. Ghosts, God damn it! Listen to me. Goats. Goats. Do you think really? goats is I'm what's upset going on here? over goats? No. And meanwhile, Bobby and Maggie are he's and he's riding this scooter all through this glass house with that glass would be the very floors. first uh-uh. thing. Like, no, you're not. You leave that scooter here. You do not right here. Because like if you that. slip and fall on that scooter, everything is motherfucking glass. Come on now. <laughs> everything is motherfucking. I'm sure it's hard to break. It clearly, which we'll find out in a moment. Mm, so mm-hmm. um Arthur's laughing at Dennis and Dennis is getting real serious. Like, no, you no, need to like, get really. your children outside. I will explain outside. Yes, I will tell you everything once we get out of here. Bobby, meanwhile, finds the room full of fucking action figures. I, yeah. It's like some for it's everybody. It's like he set it up That's for everybody. That's what I'm saying. Everything is set up for so these people. So he maybe people. did live there at some point, but like he set it up to be perfect for them. Yeah. yeah. Maybe to keep them there. Right, or to entice them to want or to be there. Or at least those kids, because we don't see any of the other bedrooms. But. Well, like uh, Arthur thought all that shit was cool. Oh, yeah. He was all into mm, all the shit. That sword had. is the um, from Highlander, I guess. I read nice. that that sword's from Highlander. Anyway. So Kathy finds this bedroom with the shortest bed ever. Oh, it she goes seem, to flop on that bed and it, it only does goes to her, like knees. her knees are hanging off. Yes. Of there. Maybe she's really long. Well, like, it, she's tall and that bed had a ton of pillows. Well, that's also so true. I'm sure that's that was also true. that was part of it. It's but, like this silky, beautiful room. And then this bathroom, which the glass I bathroom would have died in. As soon yes, as we yeah, had a whole conversation room. about how a glass bathroom would be slippery as, as fuck. soon as that shit got fogged up. Night, 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 night. You'd have to carpet that glass bathroom. Ew, and a <laughs> carpeted be bathroom is disgusting. It's the only way you wouldn't die. I at least know what I would rather around die. the tub would have to be carpeted at minimum. Like one of those soak up the water rugs or something. I would rather wear like water shoes. And in my let's own talk bathroom. about that tub. So you have this glass masterpiece, and you put just a plain white porcelain tub with a white plastic shower curtain around it. I know oh, that white plastic that. shower curtain was not. Doing and like it for glass me. showers are a thing, right? They're pretty popular. My freaking mom has one. Well, yeah, like, I mean, I'd want a big yeah, bathtub. Yeah, or make a glass cube bathtub out of those glass cubes or something. <laughs> out of know. those glass cubes. Make a glass cube glass out of those glass cubes. Yeah, that'd have been cool. Because then you could see all the blood from the outside. That would actually be kind of rad. They should have done that. So they meanwhile, that. the lawyer has now realized who Dennis is and is like, oh, this guy's been harassing us mm-hmm. since your uncle died. He says your uncle owes him money. Right. And he does, he but... Does. That's not what I'm talking about here. Like, we need to go now. And he tries to leave, and his head is fucking killing him. He yes, can't. And like, he starts kind of seizing up, and Arthur touches him, and then he sees, like, his whole life and right. his wife dying. And He's drooling on the floor. Yes, he is. And he asks him, like, how's your head? And he's like, not good. <laughs> <laughs> he's not good at giving BJs. No, he's not so good at it. Go. I was like, didn't we just talk about we this did. with Elvira? And then Maggie's in here with all these, uh, or no, not Maggie, um, no. Kathy, mm-hmm. with why is there the silver hairbrush and the perfumes? It's got to be set That's up for her. That's what I'm saying. It's a setup. Yeah. yeah. And so um, Ben disappears mm-hmm. while Dennis is on the floor and he's like, where's the suit? Right. He just pops on down to taunt the ghosts, which is always a great idea. Oh, yeah. So he's fully aware these ghosts yeah, are here. He knows this is not happening. a surprise to him. He puts on the specs. He heads mm-hmm. to the basement because he's headed... To the main gear room. Right. To like begin where his money is hidden. Which and like why would Cyrus have left him all that money? Like there if, was money hiding in that house. There was like, money in Dennis that house. Dennis just didn't go where he should have. But yeah, he's telling um the angry princess nice tits as he walks by. Right. Why you come on? Mm-mm. And so he yeah, Mm-mm. he gets his briefcase full of money, but it's a booby trap. Oh, literally. <laughs> booby trap. <laughs> And the doors are shutting in the house. All of a sudden, everything's in motion. Right. Now everything has begun. Everything is happening. The angry princess comes out. And he's like, oh, I'm sorry. (laughs) The walls are closing up. Yeah, yeah. Arthur's calling out for his kids. And yeah, the angry princess is like right in front of Ben. Like, oh, what's up? He's like, oh, shit. Sorry about all that nasty shit I probably have said to you multiple times. Probably. Every time I come in here. Which, but also if he's that comfortable around those ghosts in that room, 
You're telling me he didn't know Dennis? He didn't recognize Dennis, the dude like who helps him find the ghosts and has found every single one of these 12 ghosts? Huh. You never met him? Maybe he didn't know where he was going with this? Well, but Dennis had never seen the house. Oh, that's true. Which is also weird. That is How also Dennis weird. Know? So he didn't live there. Th- well, I well, don't know. Cyrus was like, he had his yeah, finger yeah. in pies. Yeah. And he had all kinds of treacherous shit going on. He sure did. Yeah, I think that's what was happening. So she backs him into this door, right, as it slides oh, shut. Oh, and this is incredible. <laughs> Just like the cell when the horse splits apart. And he like slides Sli- down. All the alive blinking. still looking yes! around like, oh, fuck, what happened? Oh, man, it is so good he gets chopped in half the long way and you can see like his brains and his bits and like oh it's so good it's so good and before we find out what happens to the family now oh man we've only just now gotten into the house to take a break okay we'll be right back am i supposed to do that (laughs) hey you Guys. Guess what we got for you? Ooh, it's a surprise. Discounts, discounts, discounts. Ooh, get there now. 8bitzombie.com. I'm telling you, I got some shirts from there. I got some stickers from there. This is good quality shiz. Yes, else we wouldn't be telling you about it right now. He throws in some little extras, like some cool trading cards, like Mr. T, Jurassic Park, stuff like that. Before he even knew. Yes, she that was just. Was. I found them <laughs> online. I ordered some shirts because. Because I couldn't find a Chainsaw and Dave shirt anywhere else. No. Or a cartoon Beetlejuice shirt anywhere else. No, and that Bebop shirt, I want it. So 8, number 8, B-I-T-Z-O-M-B-I-E dot com, code DOOM, D-O-O-M, for 10% off. Get over there now. Today. And we're back. We're back, and this bathroom is like a blood splattered mess. Well, first, these shit stained kids are fucking gone. Oh yeah, they he go out to, to try find to his find children, the where like, he said, "Don't move from this spot." Right. And when did Dennis take off his jumpsuit and have like a blazer I know. underneath? I know. I noticed that. I don't know when he like he just wore that underneath. Like if the... he had a t shirt or something underneath that, okay. But you were sure. wearing a blazer under the jumpsuit, right? Yeah. Or you had that balled up in your work bag. I. <laughs> I don't that know. was weird. I don't know. That was weird. That was I strange. Did, I did notice that later. Like, wait, hold up. Yeah. But now Kathy's in this fancy bathroom looking right. at herself in the mirror, mm-hmm. primping. Prim- and primping, there's a pair of these glasses on the side, which she right. hasn't picked up, but we no, see we through see the camera. Through it, and it's like all a bloody mess. Yes. And the angry princess is in the tub filled with blood. Well, first she's behind her, like checking her hair. Yeah. In the mirror. And she's also kind of. Like kind of watching her do this or whatever. And then she's in the tub and mm-hmm. Kathy goes over there to like wash her face. I know. Was yeah. she going to take a bath? I, mm-hmm. What? Yeah, mm-hmm. Like I would have splashed my face in the sink, not with the tub water. Mm-hmm. And yeah, the angry princess in the is in the tub she's all like, full what of the blood fuck? looking at her like, bitch, I'm trying to I'm take a bath. bathing here. <laughs> I'm killing myself I'm right now. I'm brutally killing myself in here. Come I've painted I'm sorry in my own blood you on the floor. You don't see this shit? I did this for you. And no, she doesn't no, see she any doesn't. of this. No. So dad comes in like, what the fuck? I told you to stay still. Where's your brother? He's oh, with Maggie. And Maggie comes up like, was with Maggie. I'm bad at my job. Yeah. <laughs> I'm bad at my job. It's but see, funny. they don't know. They didn't even hear any of this. No, they don't know. And any Arthur of doesn't believe it anyway, but he sees the house is closing up. So right. he's like, whoa, well, the let's get out Dennis of here. is really intense. So he's like, yes. all right, well, let's see what he has to say. Let's get everyone together and see what's but up. But Maggie and Bobby and um, Kathy, no, Maggie, Bobby, Kathy, they're all... <laughs> E names. Ronnie, Bobby, Ricky, and Mike. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and so um, I love it when she's like, Where'd the lawyer go? Did he split? <laughs> yes. <laughs> he sure did. He did. So Bobby's skating around on of his course. scooter and the basement opens. They should have fed that kid to a fucking ghost. Bobby. Come down here, Bobby. Come down and play. Warriors. <laughs> Which why I don't know why the bound woman wants to play with Bobby, I, but I, mean, I don't know. And And what's she going to do anyway? And like that voice is happening, but also his mom's voice is telling him to stop and go back. And so why did you not? You didn't. Well, could he not hear it? His mom hadn't been dead that long. Six Six months. months. You already forgot what she sounds like? I guess. She's I like, Bobby, no. She had to go Craig T. Nelson on him. That's right. She got to use that she strong voice. She has to use the strong voice. She Bobby, the go th- upstairs. Yeah, she wasn't the authoritarian, apparently. No, of she's the, like, 
no, don't go Please down don't. there. Bobby, no. <laughs> so she knew uh, what a pain in the ass that kid was. Right. So um Dennis is like um up there with Arthur who's trying to break out with the chair and the chair just breaks oh, into pieces. Course. Yeah, and he's that's like you're wasting your time. Yeah, it's all real reinforced glass, like that shit's locked up. It's not gonna happen. He's like, Well, we gotta go find this kid. So mm-hmm. he starts downstairs. He's like, wait a minute. We can't go downstairs. Did I say there was a petting zoo <laughs> downstairs? There's ghosts. No. There are ghosts downstairs. Now, Bobby has now followed the voice to the basement. And mm-hmm. he, despite wearing these glasses, the ghosts are like hiding from him. I guess. Like, I guess because they want to get him to go further down Apparently. there. But, well, whatever. So matter. they're calling for him and he calls him Glass Family Robinson. He's all, Glass yes. Family Robinson, you're wasting your breath. He can't hear you through this glass. Yes. So he expl- Dennis explains the containment spells mm-hmm. and says the ghosts have to do whatever these spells say. Right. And that's when Bobby finally sees the ghost who was calling to him. Right. Finally. They're like fucking everywhere now. And, and it's the it's this hanged girl or right, strangled the girl with her like, hands ah! behind. And, and the boy, doesn't he see the... Well, first he falls off his scooter and right. finds the torso. Yes. So there's a severed head and a bag mm. on the floor crawling and then a torso trying to find and its head. And that's a real double amputee. Who you said they put like a black a, thing over yeah, his like head. Yeah, like a hood over his head so they could digitally remove his head. Yes. So um, then Maggie. So we're do, we're going to do a lot of back and forth. Right, we're right, going, right. Because like, now what's everybody's Bobby doing, what's doing ev- shit. Everyone's in different parts of the house. Right, right, right. So Dennis is explaining the glasses mm-hmm. to Maggie. Right. Um, he talks about the ghosts. They're everywhere and usually they don't want to hurt us. But there's exceptions in the ones that die like violently or mm-hmm. whatever. And like they're trapped in a tortured realm and also in here. Yes. <laughs> so um, they all go. To, the whole family goes down. So now a minute ago he was like, go outside, mm-hmm. wait outside in the car. But now he's going to bring them all into the like basement. further down. Well, because they have to go get this fucking kid. <sighs> but like, I don't know. Well, for, for, stay at the top of the stairs I, at hey least. Man, something. I don't know. Well, that's what he wants to do as soon as he sees the symbol of the jackal. Yes. So um, <coughs> Bobby has knocked himself out on the glass and he now yep. hears a voice telling him to wake up. Yep. Coming from his recorder. Yes. And then he puts the glasses back on <laughs> and sees his mom. Yeah. And meanwhile... He oh and he sees Cyrus oh that's right Bobby sees Cyrus that's but he's right. got the glasses he's on being so you his assume that Cyrus is ghost in the yeah. shadows and shit and he's got his throat all slit he's yeah, all bloody he's all so. dressed up he's in his ghost drag yes <laughs> and so they're all down in the basement and Arthur's like let's split up so again another genius idea come on. from Arthur come on. Meet back here in five in this labyrinth in where? of fucking here? glass. I don't even know where I am right now. Where We've the doors been keep... here before? Yeah, the doors keep opening and closing. Shit keeps moving. It's like a fucking fun house, Arthur. <sighs> so, um, she's so now Dennis and Maggie are alone, and he gives her the glasses, and she still right. doesn't see anything. Right? She's like, "Well, I don't know what any of this shit is." So he, well, he gets close. He puts the glasses on and right. the fucking. Uh, the hammer. The hammer. He's like, I hate it when they do that. You get your face real close to the glass and they boom. boom. And so Maggie puts him back on and finally sees the hammer. Right. And she's like, oh shit. And this is where he explains about the ones that died a violent mm-hmm. death. They stay in tortured realms. Right, right, right. So Maggie's like, let's go. Yeah, <laughs> I'm done right, now. Fine, That's let's go. it. And he's down with it too because like I said, they see the symbol of the jackal and he's like, no, he's like the Charlie Manson of ghosts and if he's mm-hmm. out... We got to go. So Arthur finds Bobby's recorder on the floor mm-hmm. and he plays the tape back. And now, OK, so all he hears is him screaming and he stops it. But had he not played it a minute late, like 20 right. seconds more, would he have heard his wife talking? Yeah. Because wasn't she talking through the recorder? Right. I don't know if it would have recorded it. But yeah, that's when Dennis is like, screw this kid. If that's the jackal, we got to get yeah, out of this like, basement. Yeah, like, fuck the kid. <laughs> fuck these kids. 
And Kathy is p- finally puts the glasses on, and mm-hmm. the fucking jackal. The jackal is right in front Woo! of her, <laughs> and this is where the party begins. Oh man, I, the this jackal is that, do not play. No, the jackal fucks her up. Uh-huh. This is that thing I took the picture of because I thought she had a booger in her nose, but it's just it's her just nose. her nose. But yeah, she's getting all ripped up. She's getting like part of a titty out. Oh yeah, she got ripped all the way through her bra, oh, man. face cut up, and yes. Dad cannot see what's happening. No. He just sees her getting dragged down and, the hall and up right, the wall she's getting, and clawed like, up. Thrown up the wall and he like pulls her legs. By her legs. And then here comes Kalina. Oh, being all little miss throwing Too flares tents with her sparklers and shit. And she helps him drag Kathy back. Mm-hmm. And the jackal gets trapped behind one of the glass doors. And Dennis, meanwhile, runs <laughs> into the firstborn son. Right. He's like, oh, nice kid and he tells maggie somehow we got behind enemy lines yes <laughs> like we're gonna mm-hmm. need to get out of here so the jackal is still chasing them cackling mm-hmm. yes dennis ah! is trying to talk to the kid and then he disappears and he tells maggie go right go go like, go, 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 go 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 <laughs> and now like arthur's like now who the fuck are you <laughs> yeah and um, the She's angry in- princess is coming now. Oh, yes. For Maggie. And that's, that's when right. Dennis is like, because Dennis can see her, but He's Maggie like, oh, yeah. doesn't She's have like, the glasses. She's like, I can't see anything. He's like, yeah, but I do. So you need to move that, that way, way right now. And um, Arthur's, meanwhile, consoling Kathy and asking Kleena, who the fuck are you? Right. Like, who are you? She's like, I'm in the spirit reclamation business i free trap souls she she needs to settle the fuck down is what she needs to do with this breathless interpretation of fucking everything oh Oh, and he wants to know what she's doing here looks to me like i'm saving your ass bitch (laughs) bitch but like how did you get in this yeah no but i'm saying how did you get in here with your fucking sparklers that's what i want to know get your hopes up i got in while the house was still closing (laughs) and i'm gonna set these souls free (laughs) she's a hippie (laughs) she's some so she um she shows in this book right she gets her little book out and she's like look at my little book and now kathy's disappeared right they turn around and she gone he's she's telling him about this book and yeah Kalina intensifies. And the machine that Cyrus built Mm -hmm. is the house. Right. And it's the, what do you say? It was the hell or the eye of hell or something. Designed by the devil and powered by the dead. A baby. Bailion I have it later. I don't know why machine. I didn't write it here, but I have the, the name of whoever was, was supposed just, to have designed it. I couldn't it. even fucking look at her. I was like, she needs to settle You're down. all Miss She's Honey. Just, Miss Honey, <laughs> relax. You were so nice. Which I just Matilda. found that out today. Like, as soon as Nicole said it, I was like, oh, that oh, is Miss Honey. That is indeed. It is her. She needs to relax. Oh, so yeah, it's not until she tells him all this that now Kathy is suddenly gone. Mm hmm. And the firstborn son is right there. And Queen is like, we got to go. Right. Oh, and this is where I wrote down. This bitch said library. Did she? We need to get to the library. I didn't hear that. I I heard that shit. You know my ears will pick it up. (sighs) Library. Is this coming from the person who watches everything with the captions on telling me your ears will pick up? The nuances (laughs) of library versus library? Well, if it was. Because I heard library. I heard library. We're going to have to. We're going to. Have to do a slow mo oh, replay. Shit. I'll have to make a video shit. and see whether it's library, library or library. Maybe it's because I hate her. Yeah. Maybe it's because I hate her. Oh, play that clip again, Sam. We saw oh, Sam's fucking we piano did. We did at the Academy Sam's Museum. Piano. She the had a picture. Again, Sam, yeah. Yep. I got a picture of Sam's piano. So, yeah. So, um, she's not helping him unless no. they help her free the right. ghosts. She's like, like, first, you gotta help me. You're gonna, you won't help me you save my living here? minor children unless I help you save dead people. And priorities, given what man. she does later, what the fuck? What the fuck, indeed. What the fuck? Yeah. You need to settle down <laughs> and remember what you're fucking doing here. And the house, meanwhile, is still closing up. This whole yeah, time, it's, it's like, like not fully No, it's closed. like a house on Haunted Hill with all the yeah. shit. Like, yeah. And um, Maggie and Dennis are downstairs struggling, and she ends up pushing him, and he drops the glasses, and a door shuts oh, between shit. them. And he's in the fucking thing with the torn prints, the guy with the bat. Yes, Ocularis and she's Infernum. the what? Ocularis Infernum. Yeah, the is the of name hell. of the what okay. Was the name of the machine. That was the name. That's of the name oh, of the no, machine. Oh no, but the who made it? It was something with a B. Basilius. Yeah. Basilius. That yeah. was it. Basilius's machine. Yeah, Basilius's, Basilius's machine. machine. 
Um, but yeah, so now she's got the, the glasses, glasses cuz he tossed she, them to her and she's trying to direct him away from the, the torn prince slot of his bat. And a door slides open, he runs for it, gets away and it he shuts rolls. behind him. Yeah, yeah, he does right? a sweet roll. Yeah. And then sweet meanwhile, roll. Kalina says they need to get to the library. Yeah. Because it has she spell did, protection all around it. She did, I swear. <laughs> <laughs> she said library. <laughs> Whatever. I'll find it. We'll find out. Whatever. I I maintain. So Dennis and Maggie get back upstairs and she asks if she can rely on him not getting her killed. And he's like, I guarantee guarantee nothing. nothing. So he's leading with the glasses Mm -hmm. and he's like, oh, maybe they're just downstairs. I don't see any up here. Right. But they run smack into... What are they called again? <laughs> the great child. Oh, and yeah, the, the dire mother. The, and great, the great child. child. And the dire mother. And which I like, have oh. as Lil Mama and the Fat Vomit Baby. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> he went on to play that almost the same thing again, like a big dude oh, was in a he? diaper. And I forget the name of the movie that it was that he went. Oh, wow. That he played almost the exact same person. <laughs> but yeah, he, he did that. So they're trying to get away from... The vomit baby. The and vomit they run baby. Right it's into so Kalina. gross. It's so <laughs> fucking gross. They run into Kalina coming out of the floor from the basement. Trick or treat. Oh, okay. He played a similarly dressed character in Trick or Treat. Okay. Which is a really good movie that you've not seen that you should. <coughs> I know. I need to see that one. You haven't seen I haven't. I That's know, another one fun. of those stuff oh. ones for me where I thought it was new and then it I is was new. like. Trick or Treat, two thousand seven. Well, but that's not. It's twenty twenty three. Well, I mean, like, not, like, new. <laughs> not new, new, but, but I like, thought it was. It's not from like like the 60s I only heard of it two years ago. Oh, well, <laughs> once again, <laughs> when Cherish started making trick or treat mm-hmm. things on mm. her art shop, Cherish mm-hmm. Heath Art on Instagram, I went. What is that from? It was the candy candy. Yeah, bar? the little with the razor with the, or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or I don't know. Oh yeah, candy the candy bar. with the razor. Yeah, inside. yeah. Yep. Mm-hmm. And so I was like, "What the fuck is this?" And I went and looked it up, and it said trick or treat, and I'm like, "Oh, this must be new." And it said 2007. Well, and I'm like, "I've never heard of this." That's who I'm being this year for Halloween. That's who you're being this year. Yeah, Leon is going to be yeah. Sam from from Trick or Treat. I haven't for Halloween. decided yet if I want to be cartoon Lydia, oh. or a Mothman. It's almost the same outfit, only one is red with spider webs and exactly. one's all black. <laughs> exactly. Because I'm going for comfort because I'm old. And I figure it's like nice and blousy. Yeah. That's why I did trick or treat. It, it will cost me the like same the either way. It right. It will cost me the same either way. All right. You guys want to vote? Yeah, vote on it. Get should on I it. be Cartoon Lydia or should I be Mothman? So now um, Clean is directing them to the library. <laughs> <What did you say? laughs> You're just going to keep now. doing it, aren't you? <laughs> And Dennis rudely asks Arthur how he lost his entire family in a glass house. He's like, son. This is your fault these ghosts up in right? here. Well, I mean, it is. Like, him and Kalina argue over yeah. whose fault this fucking is. But, like, he's Osiris with my friend, and he accepted me, so there. But meanwhile, the jackal Uh-oh. has come for Arthur, and she is calling that <laughs> shit out of Or he. He is he, calling. Yeah, I don't know why the, I always thought it was a woman, but it's not. It it's up, Ryan. It's Ryan. 1887 yeah. Ryan Coon. So yeah, I don't know why I thought the jackal was a woman, but it's not. I, it was somebody that ended up in one of those asylums with the fucking box. So they couldn't heads. get a haircut. What was that thing that we saw with ca- that? Where they put somebody in the head box? What was that Something we were watching? We Dracula, Dracula, oh. Dracula. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah. Dracula, Dracula, Dracula. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Beetlejuice. One of the guys in the yes asylum. Yes. Had it. Renfield. Yeah. Yes. Oh, did they put Renfield in one? No, might... it was the uh, like the orderlies had him. Oh, the oh, orderlies yes, had him to keep did. from them getting attacked by the prisoners. You're right. So why would the jackal have it on? It was. A, it looked like he chewed through it to not hurt himself. Maybe. Maybe he. Or not to be able to head. bite nobody. Oh, maybe the biting. I don't know. <laughs> well, why wouldn't he have mittens? Right. Because the scratching. scratching is the goddamn problem. <laughs> I don't know if the teeth are a problem, but the nails the are a goddamn was problem. The issue here, and it's dragging. They're dragging Arthur away. They finally right. get in this room and shut the door just in time. Yes, and Kalina's like, "Oh, the ghosts don't like you, Dennis. I wonder why." <laughs> and that's when she's like, "It's your fault for helping right. Cyrus without knowing." Which you're about to find out. This bitch got a I lot know. of nerve. She. Yes, that's what I'm saying. She had a lot of fucking nerve to come up in here pointing fingers. For money, you parasite. Yeah. Would you do it for a dick? On. Yeah. Ooh. F. Murray Abraham F. dick? Murray Abraham dick? Come Some on Sally- now, ma'am. Salieri slide? <laughs> uh, and Arthur interrupts like, 
I don't fucking ha- care. Yeah, like, or whatever. I shut up. And then she's like, oh, you didn't tell him, did you? What about the fourth ghost then, Dennis? And Dennis is like, no. I no, didn't no, no, know no, nothing no, about that tell man. Him. And he's like, she's like, oh, yeah, by the way, your wife. Here's my little book again. Is the fourth ghost. Right. She's, yeah, she's the withered lover. So, yeah, she explains the house again about mm-hmm. it being the bacillus design machine. Right. She continues to bug the fuck out of me. Twelve earthbound spirits trapped inside. Firstborn son, the torso, the bound woman, mm-hmm. the withered lover, his wife. Right. The torn prince, the angry princess, the pilgrimess, the great child and the dire mother, the hammer, the jackal, and the juggernaut. Ba, Ted Danson. Ted Danson. <laughs> It needs the energy of these specific spirits to bring it to life, to right. open the ocularis infernum, mm-hmm. the eye of hell. Oh, bu- bu- bum. To do what exactly? The man who controls it will be the most powerful person on earth. Okay. Okay. And 11 ghosts have already been set free. Mm. And Den- Dennis asks her about the 13th ghost, and she's like, oh, that, uh, no, 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 no that's, that's a fail, a fail safe. safe. Like, you'd have to do all of that to stop the process. You need a willing human sacrifice. Right. The sacrifice s- of a broken heart. You have to leap into the eye. A ghost created out of an act of pure love. Mm-hmm. So Arthur has to do this to stop right. it. He's like, you're the 13th ghost, bud. Sorry. Love is the most powerful energy. You got to trade your life for your kids. And Dennis is like, no, come on. Something like, doesn't add be, up. This doesn't well, make sense. What? What? Even Maggie says, she's like, no, we got to figure out something There's else gotta to There's got to be do. another like, way. That's suicide. She's like, well, we could blow the place up. And she starts readying her C4. Which, what is, I mean, why did what? she even bring that? I why? don't. What is her deal? That's I'm what real I'm saying, confused man. about she... Kalina. Real confused. I'm real annoyed. That too. <laughs> and now to buy Arthur and Dennis some time to mm-hmm. find these kids, Kalina and Maggie go back to the basement? Well, no, because Dennis is like, well, let's me and you go out. We're going to go find the kids. And they take this panel of glass. They stay there. Maggie and Kalina no, stay there. No, she says, I'm going to... She, I'm going to go. We're going to go oh, to the basement they go for to the buy mechanism. you some time. That's right. They go down for the oh, they're gonna, pendulum and the machine okay. and all that shit. So they're going and down And that's there. when they find the lawyer. She's like, is that half the lawyer? Yes. <laughs> oh, you got to love Maggie. Oh, in a way. my god. Even gosh. though she's terrible at her job. She's well, funny. you know, she's a lot of fun to have around. I guess that's why they kept her on. And so they find the main gears of this machine. Yes. And then, meanwhile, Arthur and Dennis carrying this glass pane <laughs> around. In the Which looks heavy as fuck. Yes, it does. Yeah. And the torn print suddenly appears and mm-hmm. starts slamming it with his bat. Right. And, they and like, now they're just in the main house, right? They're not in the basement. No, they're like in the main house looking okay. for the kids. And meanwhile, Maggie gets crept up on by Cyrus. Right. She puts the glasses on and she sees this motherfucker walking up on his ghostly pimp cane. And then Kalina smacks her over the head with this the book bitch. and knocks her ass knocks out. Knocks her out. She looks over and is like, oh, there's my bae. And they start kissing. Ew. And he pushes her off like, where's my book? <laughs> right? Like, where's my shit? And she's That's like, are you mad at me? Are you mad at me? So pathetic. I know. She's Gag fucking me with a fucking this spoon. Pick me, bitch. You're not mad at me. Are you right mad now? at me? Ugh. I did what you wanted. I even got your nephew here. And meanwhile, Dennis sees the hammer coming. Yes. And realizes there's not room where they are for them both to get the right. which I don't agree with. I, I it's also a corner. don't. This is like a Titanic it's a corner. Situ- it's a corner. <laughs> like you illustrated you very get beautifully. In the- I was trying to corner. explain. <laughs> I was trying to talk to Tessa about a new shelf for the studio and where it needed to go. And instead of just saying a corner shelf, I, I totally with my would have hands understood. made a corner, like you know, like in case you're not shelf. aware of what like a corner she, is. I'm a visual learner. It's shaped Sometimes like this. And it goes to a point. <laughs> and she just like threw her arms out. It really didn't and have much of a shape. She just looked at me like, are like, you a Fabienne? <laughs> <laughs> I know what a motherfucking corner is. I get it, Nicole. Thanks. So yeah, so he pushes... Arthur behind this glass right. and he stays out and taunts this motherfucking ghost. He's like, I've been looking for a reason to like myself for a long time. So now I'm going to do this. I'm going to sacrifice myself. And you never find out what was going on in his life that was so terrible that he needed to. The ghost headaches? I guess. And like what the, I guess the money was for more opiates for the ghost headaches. I guess. I mean, he would probably have to go black market after that. Because what can you do for a job if that's your talent other than ghost hunt? What did he do before? I would love to know Dennis's backstory. Give me that story. Give me that story. So, um, 
now so the hammer or no the oh, juggernaut's yeah. released well, yes, while the, the hammer's coming at him. Has been released. The hammer knocks him down a couple. It times. like smashes his hand off. Yes, and then smacks him in the back. Right, and the He's, juggernaut. Ooh, oh, here comes Ted, Ted Danson. Danson. He breaks your rude dolly man. Yes, he Did does. He breaks him in dolly man? half over the fucking corner of the over the corner. Over the corner. Yes. He corner. broke his back over, over the, the corner, corner of yes. the room. Yes, I saw that. It was crazy. It was wild. And um the if juggernaut you, like, really looks over look at, at it, though, Arthur, it's really kind of hilarious because it's like a full on dolly man. Just a like, it's mannequin. Just, like, if you look at the head, it's not even close. Not even close. And while all this happening, oh wow! While all this is happening, I missed yes. a word in there. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Kalina's still fucking Sipping ass up kissing to, to Cyrus. Cyrus, but but your nephew believes that he has to sacrifice himself if his kids are in jeopardy, and he's like, so well, put him in jeopardy. She's like, what? Huh? Like come greatness on. requires sacrifice. Yeah, you and dumb now, bitch. She heads off, but right after this, she's right. She's just right there in the room again. So well, I don't no, know when he tells she went. Her, she goes, he starts up the spells and shit. Mm-hmm. And it starts calling all of the spirits to the eye. And the ghosts hear the spell and start all heading to the center. Right, right, right. So they go to leave and go down to the thing. And Cyrus has Kalina go fetch the book from back in the room. And that's how she gets stuck. Right. But like he told her to go take care of these kids and put them in jeopardy. Right. Oh, yeah. That's and right. then she didn't. She that's went, true. OK, and went to leave. But she was still with him in the next scene. And then he crushed her in the wall. Oh, yeah. So when did she go tie the kids up and put them in the circle? Because where the fuck were the kids? It never shows you where the kids were that whole time. This They've been tied hole. up in the circle. This is a plot hole. So I would have presumed Kalina had already, had already tied it. the kids up and put them down there or that the time. mom was protecting them. So I was thinking oh, in my head that like maybe the, the mom had like. Right. But then who would have put tied them, somewhere? them up, I guess. But no. Yeah. Oh, maybe there was something. So, missing yeah, we're missing there. some time here. Maybe well, he, was anyway, he has her cut. go back and fetch the book to get her stuck in the room. And then and she then tries to get smashes the... her in the oh! glass wall. So Which satisfying. they sort of did in the original with the lawyer with because the they crushed him in a bed. Yeah, yeah. Like in the what it you, was what like you call a the canopy, canopy bed, bed or whatever. Bed. Which yeah. a canopy won't kill you. I don't it's know. Made I know it's, soft. <laughs> it's, it's made of material. It's made of material. Like oh, was no. that a brick canopy? It's scratchy. Oh no, I can't breathe that well. <laughs> I have to turn my head. I have, I have to, to turn, turn my head. To my this head. Side. Oh no. So yeah, so she dead now, mm-hmm. and now the. The kids are up in the middle of the floor. Right. They come up from the center of the eye. They're all tied up. The floor blades be popping. Yeah, they're coming up like slices. <laughs> shwing, shwing. Circle slices. Shwing, shwing. Shwing, shwing, shwing. And dad puts on his specs and the, mm-hmm. sees the ghosts all surrounding the, ghosts. the kids oh. in a circle. Oh. And he <laughs> sees Cyrus. Right. And he hears Kalina's voice telling him all mm-hmm. about the machine. And he starts counting the ghosts. I know. Well, I... Th- really thought that her fucking reign of terror was over but no she's got another final fucking voiceover and so he counts and realizes there's 12 ghosts mm-hmm. and remembers dennis saying the 13 ghosts and he's like wait a minute but then who's cyrus right then why the fuck is this motherfucker doing here what's he here for so now he takes the glasses off and oop, he could still see cyrus there's cyrus's ass right there you son of a bitch oh he run punches him and Cyrus ch- knocks him down though and kicks the oh, shit out of well, him yeah, calls like him a Cyrus, loser like, yeah he beats the shit out of him with his little fucking ghost pimp stick the world has no time for little people like you it needs people willing to do anything for greatness uh, what exactly is the power the greatness the like quote what ruler exactly? of the world I guess I don't I, like, know what, like what <laughs> fantasy world do you fucking live in I, yeah, I know. Like, I don't know what you think. You're, you're not going to be in do. charge of what comes through well, the fucking eye of hell. Out. Yeah, well, we'll find out. It's not going to work out for him. But all of a sudden, the spell tapes go mm-hmm. off because Maggie up there DJing. Wiggle, 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 wiggle on the non-existent wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. record. She's scratching records. Somehow that reel there. to reel, like do the reel that noise. Reel. I well, guess. she's like flipping switches, so I guess it's like well, you making it go backwards and switches. forwards. You and have to. Arthur kicks Cyrus over and the ghosts scatter because the spell tape has stopped. Right. And they come up. Oh, oh shit. And the gears are breaking because Maggie be flipping all manner right. of she's switches. She's pushing buttons and she's throwing switches and the ghosts. Cyrus wakes up surrounded by his oh, ki- the people shit. he captured. 
They raise him up and they throw him right in the eye. Arthur puts his specs on just in time to see him chopped into bits. <laughs> and then Dennis appears. Oh, he's like, it's not over yet, bud. You can finish this. You still have the power. It's yes. It's a matter of how you use it. Exactly. You got this, buddy. Go to your kids. They need you. They, You got to do it now. And so now we notice the little floor slices. Or they're stopping sometimes. sort of yeah like because of the gear up, breaking so he has to time it just right and so they like he goes to take a jump but like meantime the gears explode which i don't know how maggie right. survived i, I this was shit. just gonna say i wrote down here like the whole fucking motor explodes somehow not killing maggie because i don't know how and she wasn't even barely injured she was like sweaty no. she was just upset <laughs> that was it she, she was, was mad and upset. sweaty that was all. But yeah, everything explodes. Glass is exploding. Right, the house is exploding. But like Arthur makes it to out. his kids, covers mm-hmm. them up from all the exploding glass. And I guess they're saved by the spinning blades. He threw off all the glass, I, I guess, because they were spinning. Or the power of the father's love, duh. Or, oh, created a oh, shield. Oh, because he course. sacrificed himself. But not really, though. Well, but he. He did, but he lived. Like, he took a leap of faith. Oh, okay. Because he didn't okay. think he would necessarily make it, but he Again, did Again, I don't think kids. we should be analyzing this too hard. It's not his fault he didn't make it. And did you notice, so they go out into the night, the ghosts walk mm-hmm. out into the night, and did mm-hmm. you see this final pussy lunge from the fucking jackal at the yes, end? Yes, He, like, little... does a, <laughs> look at my pussy! Yes! Look at he lunges it. into the night, and then they Luke. disappear. <laughs> Look at my cooter. And Dennis stands by happily <laughs> and watches Arthur to see that they're okay. Mm-hmm. And then he, boop, the mom goes. And is he ghost. cleaning the ghost glasses? It What's looks he like doing? it. He's wiping, or his own glasses, because he wore glasses, too. He was wearing oh, glasses before. That's so. right. Maybe that's. You still doing. need your glasses when you're dead? That's disappointing. Oh, that's I'm fucking mad now. God. If I died now, this would be my ghost outfit. I think I mean, about that when I mean, you look adorable, but like you got to wear them glasses forever, girl. I know. Like that's a choice. I Turns think about out. that when I paint my nails. Like, that's and a they weird don't thing stay clean, no. right? So, like, if he died with smudged glasses, oh. are they eternally smudged? No, <laughs> <laughs> it's oh, awful. It. He's in no. hell, no matter where he no. is. No, I fucking won't wear them. I reject it. Well, no. then you can't see. You know how no. frustrating that would be if you oh, died in your man. sleep and you have your glasses on? Oh, even worse. Just blind forever. Oh, man. Oh. That would make me an angry ghost. I'm sorry. I would think your vision would be corrected in the afterlife. <laughs> Please. <laughs> if there's an the afterlife, in you don't at least afterlife. get perfect. Head of our series. Gotta wear your glasses all day. <laughs> Come tomorrow, they'll be held to pay. So, mom ghost is there looking fresh as ever. Right. She's all, and those other ghosts didn't turn all nice no. looking. And here's the irony about all of this is because if they were going to have an old ass teenager just anyway, <laughs> Kalina should have been Kathy because the mom looks like she could totally be Miss Honey's mom. Mm-hmm. Did you notice that? Yeah, she sort of did. Look, they look like the yeah, same yeah. fucking person. They could have switched that little thing around shannon elizabeth could have been a ghost reclamation gal and so she tells them she loves them she mm-hmm. disappears mm-hmm. and then you, then maggie survives of course I she comes quit. out here all pissed i quit and that and the end and we have a song by broad digga for the movie right and this got me thinking how many rappers because there was like a lot this period of time where there was so many and i made a list and that was LL Cool J was in Deep Blue Sea and Halloween H2O. Mm-hmm. Busta Rhymes did Halloween Resurrection. Mm-hmm. Snoop Dogg did Bones. Mm-hmm. Ice Cube was in Ghosts of Mars and Anaconda. Yes. Coolio was in Dracula 3000 and Leprechaun in the Hood. Moe's Def slash Yasin Bay was in Island of the Dead. Ice T did Leprechaun in the Hood. Queen Latifah was in Sphere. Red Man was in Seed of Chucky. And I also included Maya in Cursed and Kelly Rowland and Jason X. Wow. So, yes. Quite a list. It was indeed a period the of time. The late 90s, early 2000s. It was a period of time where this went on. And this was the last movie she ever did. She did not want to I pursue. was going to say, I don't remember ever seeing she her. She did not want to pursue an acting career. She did this. I and feel that was like it. with the special effects, it. this has to be. A make it or break it, like right. It's it either was, just it's so amazing, I'm never gonna do it again, or it was so insane, mm-hmm. I'm never gonna do it again. Mm. I think it just wasn't her thing. Yeah, like it just like acting. She was wasn't good at thing. it, but yeah, I mean, she was. Well, she was bad at her job, but she was good at. The she was good at being role. bad at her job. Yeah, <laughs> she was good at the role. 
I mean, whatever. Not enough no, record scratching. We needed some more of the real to real scratch. Not enough yeah. remix. Bah, bah, bah. So I don't think we have a yearbook review because we just did an episode. I know two days we ago. haven't <laughs> had enough time. We're trying to catch up. <laughs> we're trying to catch up here. So it's only been two days since we recorded. So wow. we're just gonna do the Doom Biz. Do it. Uh, Doom Generation Pod on Instagram. This is the place to be. Mm-hmm. If you aren't on Instagram. I don't know what to tell you because that's I, where the most the bulk of now. the features are going to be. We got photos of us in the movies. We got behind the scenes photos. We got us going to the Academy Museum, yeah. and hosting photos, all manner of things. We got memes, and we got a link tree in that bio. Mm-hmm. That we takes got TikTok. You. Yes, and the link tree will take you to that TikTok. Yep. It will take you It'll to take our you merch. Where you can yes. get all manner of things. T-shirts, sweatshirts, cups, fucking notebooks, fucking Laptop stickers. Laptop sleeves. Knock yourself out. Treat all yourself. All kinds of random shit. Treat you yourself. If you want to support this free podcast with a little bit of coinage, go over to patreon.com forward slash doom generation. For $2 a month, you get all the bonus audio. For $4 a month, you get that and you get some stickers and a magnet. For $10, you get... The big sticker sheet, the magnet, the small stickers, mm-hmm. the audio content, a 30 second shout out of your choosing, Man. like old school radio, and, and you get to be in one of our movie photo edits. You hear all that? It's worth it. Do it's, it. it's worth totally it. totally worth it. Come on, you guys. Support a, a small business, I guess. I guess you can call we it are. that. I don't know. It's weird. I don't know. I don't know. Are. It's weird. I don't know. It's fun. Cool. So yeah, Patreon, Instagram, call us. 702-720-3666. Yes. Doom. If you leave us a voicemail, we will play that voicemail on the show. If you mm-hmm. send us a text to 702-720-DOOM. Doom. We'll read that text message out on the show. Get to it. Do it. Get there. Be there. And until next time. We'll talk to you next week. Later, doomers.